Welcome to the Five on Five. Tonight's guest is Mark Unger. You're here to talk about the Jetfire Thunder Race. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Jetfire Thunder Race is being held this Saturday at Champion Raceway. Um, we've got Jet Cars, we've got Ed Jones's wheel standing uh, stagecoach is going to be there, the Jelly Belly Machine, and he'll put on a fire show and pop wheelies all the way down that quarter mile in a car. is pretty impressive. We've got uh, blown alcohol cars that are going to be there with us. Um, it's just going to be a great event, one of the biggest events that Champions had in quite a few years. Tell us a little bit about how this event kind of came together and, and what people can, and you mentioned a little bit, but what they can expect out there and enjoy. Well, the jet cars, Darren uh, made a pass last year at 301 miles an hour. This year he is set out to break that pass, which is really impressive. Um, at the end of the evening, they'll run those jet cars side by side down that drag strip in the darkness, which is really impressive. Watch a car go from zero to 300 miles an hour in the dark. And then uh, Ed Jones, of course, and um, in those uh, blown alcohol cars. Plus, we've got all of our bracket racers. We've got $1,600 up for grabs for those guys. And uh, it's just going to be a great family-filled fun event. Uh, bring the earplugs if it's, uh, is it going to be noisy? Uh, yeah, bring the earplugs. That <laughs> way you can, uh, you don't have to have your hands on your ears because it will be very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> People will be hearing, and you have some great things that you're helping out and being involved with the community with. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, we are. We're doing another fundraiser to benefit the Meth Project and the Youth Education Success Program. The last time we did that, it went really well. So we want to continue that. Um, it's a way for us to give back to the community that supports us. And we're also doing a canned food drive. Um, if people can't get the $5 discount coupons around the valley, don't have the time to get there, they can bring three non-perishable food items to the gate and we'll give them the $5 off at the gate. Oh, very nice. And that goes to access? Ag yes, sir, it goes to access. All right, how much is it just when we get in? $20 to get in and then the $5 off coupons in different various businesses around the valley or bring the three non-perishable food items and save you $5 and benefit the community. Yeah, it sounds like a great community event. I'll have some more questions for you, so stick around. More 5 on 5 right after the break. Welcome back to the 5 on 5. The guest is Mark Unger. We've been talking about the Jetfire Thunder Race this Saturday. Uh, give us a little more details on the event, start times, and other details. Um, the gates open at 2 o'clock. Qualifying is at 4 o'clock. Uh, races start at 6. The feature cars will uh, make their first passes at 7 o'clock. Um, children uh, 6 to 12 are five dollars and kids under six are free. Remind the route for someone who hasn't been out there uh, where, where it's located. We're at 6900 Kershaw Road. We're about one and a half miles out Highway 140 from Highway 62. And just make a ride on Kershaw Road and we're in the sports park. All right and uh, you mentioned the kids prices and uh, a lot of action going on in, in White City as well at the deli. Yes we're, our deli is located on Highway 62 right next to the Grange Co-op and uh, Ed Jones is going to have the stagecoach there um, on display from 10 to 2 on Saturday. We're going to do a canned food drive at that also. Kids can come down, get autographs signed, pictures taken. Ed's a wonderful showman, great with kids, going to be a lot of fun. Grange Co-op is participating in it also so it's just going to be a great day out there. Describe a little bit of what he kind of does, just so what, uh, or okay. people, is there a website that he has that people kind of see what um, to... You know, I don't know of a website he has, but you can certainly Google him, and uh, there's a lot of video and whatnot on the internet. Um, we have a little bit of information on championraceway.com about it, but he, uh, you know, he's, uh, it's a Jelly Belly sponsored vehicle, so he gives out candy, he pops uh, wheelies all the way down that quarter mile. Um, he'll get over 100 miles an hour on two wheels, and that thing's really standing up in the air. And then he puts on a fire show also where he's got fire flames blown out of that stagecoach. Uh, it's just very entertaining. Great, great thing to see. And the kids, they get the free candy. Oh, that. yeah. He goes by and throws candy <laughs> to all the kids, and he'll be doing a little bit of that at the deli also, but out at the track. Um, he uh, distributes an awful lot of candy to the kids and, and adults, of course. Adults love it. It's not just a kid's thing. I've seen them a lot of times and I always look forward to seeing Ed out there. Nice. And as we mentioned earlier, are going to help, yes, the Meth Project, Other, if you bring canned food for access. And uh, I, again, mention the website. People want more information. They want to learn a little bit more about it. It is www.championraceway.com. And there's actually a link there that you can click on and print out uh, $5 coupons on the website. But of course, um, you know, if you can just, you know, even bring out one piece of uh, non-perishable food so that we can get that stuff to access because I know their food pantry is a little low and it's getting into that time of year when we certainly, uh, you know, could certainly help them out. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you so much. Good luck at the event. Thank you. All right. That's it for the 5 on 5. More news right after the break.